State officials gather to talk about the state's preparedness for more earthquakes. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. We begin with a story happening right now. As you know by now, the Plainfield area has been hit by a series of small earthquakes over the past week. The damage has been minor, but it's got people who live in that area extremely concerned about what might come next. Today, state officials gathered to talk about all the issues. News 8's Brian Spiros was at that meeting. He joins us live in Hartford this noon with the very latest. Brian. Well, good afternoon, Keith. That meeting wrapped up just about an hour and a half ago. It involved state and federal officials. The main topic of conversation, all of these earthquakes. They want to make sure Connecticut is ready if we see more of them, but more importantly, if they start to cause damage. The recent shakeups in eastern Connecticut have made their way to Hartford and are getting the attention of state and federal agencies. Part of today's conversation was having uh, all of the state resources in the room so as to ensure that we were all at the ready to respond with the right personnel. This morning's roundtable discussion was a closed door meeting with one goal in mind. To review the plans that are in place, which are quite robust. This all comes after nearly a dozen earthquakes in a week's time in the Plainfield area. For the individual going through it, um, I've been through an earthquake not here uh, in Hawaii, actually. It, it can be a little scary and disconcerting. Scientists from the Western Observatory at Boston College tell News 8 all this seismic activity could be from what's called an earthquake swarm, which can last days, weeks, even months. The observatory has placed extra tracking sensors in eastern Connecticut to hopefully find out what's going on. These extra seismometers will help them figure out in perhaps even three-dimensionally what's going on in the subsurface. And it's, it is an interesting um, scientific question. Until this all ends, officials say the state is ready if anything unforeseen were to happen. The communication is strong, the preparation is in place, and I think they are as safe and sound as they can be. Now, this morning's meeting isn't the only one scheduled for today. There will be one this evening in Plainfield. In attendance, there will be residents, state officials, and scientists who are closely monitoring all of these earthquakes. That is the very latest. We are reporting live from Hartford this noon. Brian Spiros, News 8.